All right, this is how you participate in ServiceNow Hacktoberfest. Go ahead and go to github.com and sign up. Next, you'll go to hacktoberfest.com to register for Hacktoberfest. Next, go to devlink.sn slash hacktoberfest to see all of our available projects for this year's Hacktoberfest and pick a project that is interesting to you so that you can get started. Once you're inside a repository of your choice, go to the top right and click on fork and say create fork. And now you'll have your own version of the repository. This step is important. Every project has different requirements and has different things that are happening within it. So it's very important that you read the readme file down here and you read the contributing file to see what is exactly required for you to be able to contribute. Not following all of these steps might result in you not actually being able to complete your pull request, which we'll get into later. Next, you're going to want to create a new branch, and this is going to be different depending on what your repository's readme file is telling you to do. Sometimes you'll be creating a branch inside of your repository on GitHub, or you'll be creating a branch inside of the ServiceNow instance after you've imported this application into your ServiceNow instance. To create a new branch in GitHub, click on the branch icon up here, and then type in a descriptive name of what your branch is going to be create that branch. Now that you have a new branch on GitHub or in your ServiceNow instance, you're going to want to actually update the repository or your application in some way to get it ready to submit as a submission. Once you're ready to save your changes, go down to the bottom and say commit new file or commit update. When you're ready to submit your changes to the main repository that is hosting the application, you're going to want to start what they call a pull request. Click on pull request, and then it will automatically say, hey, we have changes that you can compare and create a new pull request. So go ahead and click on that. Make sure that the base repository is the original repository that you forked from. And the one that is coming in is the current branch that you're on. When you are submitting your pull request, make sure to leave a detail, detailed description of what your pull request is. Once you have a description typed up, go ahead and say create pull request. And that's it. The maintainers for the repository will see your pull request and they will review it. And if it's good, they'll they'll merge it into the main code base and you're done. If you do this four times in total, you'll qualify for Hacktoberfest.